The display on the S10 Plus is a thing of beauty, but sadly, this beauty isn't immune to bad luck. If you accidentally dropped your phone and shattered your screen, don't panic, because today, we're gonna show you how to replace the display on your Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. For this repair, you'll need an eye opener, a set of iFixit opening picks, a spudger, a suction handle, a Phillips 00 screwdriver, and some over 90% isopropyl alcohol or adhesive remover. We also recommend using a magnetic mat to keep screws organized and safe. The Galaxy S10 Plus has a ton of tiny screws that are very easy to lose, and this mat will keep them all in place. Only attempt to remove the display if it's already broken. You have to disassemble most of the phone to get to the display, so only attempt this repair if the display is fully damaged. Before you begin your repair, make sure to discharge your battery below 25%. This will reduce the risk of a dangerous thermal event if you puncture your battery during the repair. Once you're ready to get started, heat up an eye opener and lay it across the right edge of the back cover. Lay a suction cup on the back of the phone as close as possible to where you applied the heat and pull up on the suction cup to create a gap between the back cover and the case. Once you have a gap, use the pick to cut away the adhesive, then leave your pick in place to prevent the back cover from resealing. Repeat the process of heating, lifting with the suction cup, and using your pick all around the phone. If the adhesive continues to give you a hard time, try using a heat gun or a hairdryer. Once you've cut the adhesive from all around the phone, twist the inserted picks to help separate the back cover from the frame. Once it's free, you should be able to lift it right off. Go ahead and remove the 16 Phillips screws from the NFC antenna charging coil and speaker. Then use the tip of your spudger to remove them both from the phone. With your spudger still in hand, disconnect the battery to cut off power. Then go ahead and disconnect the display cable as well. The display is held down by copious amounts of adhesive, so we'll need our eye opener to soften it. Place your suction cup on the heated edge, and when you have your gap, use your pick and slowly move around the edge of the display. Use a couple drops of isopropyl alcohol to help soften the adhesive. If you ever feel that the adhesive is still too hard, try using a heat gun as well. Use caution as you work around the left side where the display cable is hiding. You don't want to cut it. With all the adhesive free, you can remove the display from the midframe. Bring over your new display and make sure you've applied the new adhesive to the midframe. Then carefully slide the cable through the slot in the frame. And then lay the display onto the midframe. Once it's on, you can connect the display cable to the motherboard. Make sure you don't forget to connect the battery. Then go ahead and insert the NFC antenna charging coil and speaker. And screw everything back in. With all that back in place and new adhesive applied to your rear panel, you can carefully close up the phone. 